Today we're going to build my own PC. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all okay. Schooling is near and I need a new computer for my lessons and tasks. R. Boom. R. Boom. R. Boom. Let's go! We're going to the kitty cat. No, the kitty cat! So today we are going to build my own custom personal computer that I will be using for my homeschooling. And of course, basic gaming and can even play high graphics games. This will be a budget PC but in a decent specs. Because we are going to stretch our 20,000 pesos budget or equivalent to $400. And see what kind of build we can. Have in this price range, hopefully it works. <laughs> and also, we use Shopee to order all brand new components that we'll be using in. Sabi mo lang, salamat Shopee! My PC. <laughs> Guys, always take care with online orders that is being delivered to you. What we are doing is putting a mixture of scented chlorine and water in a spray bottle. And we sanitize properly all the packages that is being delivered in our house. And keeping them outside for a while. Just make sure that we will avoid contacts to any virus. Okay, so if you're ready, let's start to assemble my new PC. Of course, before anything else, unbox all the items and check if they are all in good condition. This is the power supply that we will be using. The Aircall United Power, 500 watts. This is one of the critical part of the PC. So much as possible, Avoid buying cheap PSU because this is the part that will give and distribute power to the whole system. The next box that we have is a bundle package. The Gigabyte A320MH, the 8GB RAM, and the Ryzen 3 3200G. The parts are all brand new. It's just that the seller wanted to reduce price against the competition that's why they did it as bundle package and reduced the package size and the price we purchased this after seeing the positive reviews of a lot of buyers that the seller is trusted and legit we also have two led fans blue and rainbow for more colorful pc we are going to use the Armageddon Vulcan V1X. This is a full ATX casing and although we are going to use a mini ATX motherboard, we decided to use this for better ventilation and also future upgrades. This case already has a built-in fan at the front for the intake. So there will be a total 3 fans for this PC that will help reduce heat and create proper ventilation. Now everything's out of the box. Before touching anything, especially the motherboard, the CPU, and the RAM, make sure that you are properly discharged of any static buildup in your body to avoid frying up the sensitive components you can do this by plugging in the power supply unit and while it's turned off touch the metal part of the unit for three to five seconds that's it you are free of any static electricity in your body so what we're going to do is put carefully the CPU on to the motherboard and lock it on place. This is the third generation of Ryzen 3 that also has a built-in graphics, the Radeon Vega 8. Put the heatsink and CPU fan that comes along the CPU. The heatsink 
has already pre-applied thermal paste. Then, insert the RAM into the DIMM slot. Now prepare the PC case. Open both the side panels. Put the I.O. shield, fix the banner board into the case and secure with the screws. Place the two PC fans. Both fans should be negative or airflow out. Fix and secure the PSU and tighten it with the screws. Prepare the cables. Now we are going to place the SSD into the case. This is the PNYCS 900 240GB of storage. Secure it with the screws. Put the SATA cable and the power cable. Now time for some cable management. Properly fix the cables and wires and reduce clutter inside the case. Put all the cables and wires in respective ports in the motherboard. Be careful or you might damage the pins. Now we are going to put the graphics card into the motherboard. This is the XFX Radeon RX 570 4GB Although the Ryzen 3 has already a built-in GPU, we will be needing this card for more graphics power. As we mentioned before, this PC build is also for high graphics games. We can do streaming and video editing as well. Now it's time. Let's see if the PC boots up. Hooray! We successfully start the PC! We are now on the BIOS. And from here, everything will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. We are also going to install necessary programs like OBS Studio and Adobe Premiere Pro for video editing. Uh, 
So now that my PC is built, one last thing, we need to install Windows. There you have it guys, I have my own personal computer and thanks be to God for giving me this blessing and thank you to my parents too for giving me this opportunity and please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss another video. Bye!